Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. When you go to history class, do they teach you where your people came from or do they start your history off in slavery? They started off in Africa, usually what? Slavery. I was in community college before, so I know. Here's the question, who were we before slavery? I'm asking y'all. If you don't know, that's fine. That's why we here. You don't know? What about you? You say what? Free men? That's correct. We were free men. We used to rule this earth. But the reason we don't to this day is because we disobey God. That's right. All of the things y'all seen in the news, the 102 shootings within a week span. That's because we disobey God. But I'm going to show y'all, y'all are not black. You are the Israelites according to the Bible. That's so I'm going to show you something. Let's go to Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 1. Y'all familiar with Moses? Who is Moses? I'm going to start with John. Who is Moses? free people, the Israelites or the Jews, two different names but the same people. Right. What about you, Lafayette? Exact same thing. Moses was a black man. Right. Moses was from the tribe of Levi. If you look on that board, Moses came from the tribe of Levi. Today the tribe of Levi are the Haitians. Right. So we're going to get some history. Read that. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 1. And it shall come to pass, if thou, wilt, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. So, who is Moses speaking to right here? Is he speaking to everybody? No, why you say no? You said everyone that had the same problems. That's correct. The people he's speaking to right here are the Israelites. That's Give me that. Right. Deuteronomy chapter 1 and verse 1. Bring it out. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. Did it say the white man? All Israel. Did it say the Chinese? All so now we have the audience just like if I write a letter and it says dear John and Lafayette whatever I write in that letter is to you two correct if the top part get ripped off and somebody pick it up and it say it say a million dollars is in the closet that's mine is that for them no same thing with this Bible. That's right. This Bible is written to blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Right, right. The chosen people of God. Right. So everything in this Bible is for you. Right. Everything in here is written to your people. Right. Give me 28 verse 15. So we read 28 and verse 1. It said, if the Israelites listen, they will be blessed beyond measure. Correct? That's what it said. Blessings. But if you look at our people, are we blessed? No, we are not blessed. Are y'all from this neighborhood? Yeah, it's a little gentrifying now, right? One like that a couple years ago. I'm a little older than y'all. They trying to change it up, switch it up, make it more safer. But our people are always in the ghetto, in the slums. You ever wonder why? You finna find out now. Read 28 and verse 15. So what you heard was an agreement. Moses said, God said, if you listen, you'll be blessed. It's a flip side to it. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. Bring it out. But it shall come to pass uh -huh. if thou 
wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Read it again from the top. But it shall come to pass. What it shall mean? In the future. So right now, these things that Moses is about to tell our people, they didn't happen at that time. He said it, and it happened later on. I'm going to show you with these curses that you are the Israelites. Believe it or not, all of that history you hear about in school is in here. We're going to show you that. Read. But it shall come to pass. So in the future, this will come to pass. Let's see what he's talking about. If thou wilt not hearken. If you will not what? Hearken. If you will not what? Hearken. Hearken means to listen. So to make it plain, the conversation is this. God said, if you listen to me, I will bless you. If you disobey me, I will curse you. I will make bad things happen to you. Read. If thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe, to do all his commandments. In the church, how many commandments do they say it is in church? You were off a little bit. They say 12. In church, they say 10. They say it's only 10. But when you read the Bible, it's more than 10 laws in here. It's more than 10 rules that we as a people are supposed to be following. You understand? Read. To do all his commandments. To do what? All his commandments. Son. All his commandments. We are to do everything this Bible says. Everything to the T. Read. And his statutes, uh -huh. which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Uh -huh. What does it mean when something is overtaken? It's stronger than you. What about you, Lafayette? What does it mean for something to be overtaken? Just give me an example. I want to make sure you understand, you comprehend what's coming out. What does it mean to be overtaken? I'm going to help you out. You ever saw the movie Spider-Man? Y'all familiar with Spider-Man? You familiar with the character Venom? When Venom jumped on Peter Parker, what happened? It overpowered him, right? It overtook him. He was not able to stop the creature from taking over his body. That's what the curses did to us. So God is saying these bad things would overpower us to the point when you read the Bible, you're able to identify who the chosen, the chosen people of God are. You follow me? Y'all understand? What we read in here will show us who the real Jews are. The real Jews are not those people you see with the yarmulkes on and the full strings. You are the real Jews. We're going to show you proof. Read. Verse 16. Uh -huh. Cursed shalt thou be in the city, uh -huh. and cursed shalt thou be in the field. Let's read that again one more time. Cursed shalt thou be in the city. Cursed shalt thou be in the city. What group of people are always catching hell in every city that they are in? Bring it out. Say it again. African Americans and Hispanics, that's everywhere. Take a look at these signs, because y'all in college. Come close, look at these signs. This is the Hispanics going into slavery right here. This is the so-called blacks going into slavery right here. We just read, cursed shalt thou be in the city. The Arab man was not cursed in the city. He was putting us in slavery. The white man was not cursed in the city. Now, the reason why our people are catching hell, we read it in verse 15. Read it one more time. Verse 15. But it shall come to pass, uh -huh. if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, uh -huh. to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So we're talking about sin. What is sin according to the Bible? 
carefully doing. It's not that cut and dry. We're going to show you what sin is. Then we're going to get some laws for you. Because there's some laws that you prophets, you young men, should be keeping. Read. The book of First John, chapter 3 and verse 4. Bring it out. Whosoever committeth sin transgresseth also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. Read it again. Whosoever committeth sin transgresseth also the law. So God said whoever commits sin transgresses his law. What does transgress mean? Transgress, the word transgress. Say what? No. Think about transgress. If your mother tells you be in the house by 9 o'clock and you come in at 11, what did you just do? You transgressed. You broke her rules. You went against what was told to you. You went against the authority. Read. Out. Whosoever committed sin uh -huh. transgresseth also the law. Uh -huh. For sin is the transgression of the law. So sin is when you go against the rules of God. Right. So we're going to get some rules of God. Do y'all smoke? You sure you don't? You look like you was finna nod. You pause for a minute. Give me 1 Corinthians 3.16. Y'all got tattoos? You thinking about getting them? Guess what? That goes against God. Right. We ain't out here to tear our people down. We out to teach our people. Because I got some. Nobody told me that. But when I heard, I didn't get no more. Right. Read that. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 16. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God, uh -huh. and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you. Read it again from the top. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God. So your body is the temple of God. Right. God made that. So he has rules specifically for your body that you must follow. Right. Read. And that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you. The Spirit of God only dwells in these people on this sign right here. Take a look at that sign. You are on that sign, you are God's chosen people. Everything in this Bible that's written, you must follow it. You're not like everybody else. Read. If any man defile the temple of God. Remember, what's the temple of God? Your body. So if you defile the temple of God, what does it mean to defile something? You ruin it. You destroy it. So guess what? If you are smoking weed, hey. you are defiling your temple. Hey. If you are getting tattoos, you are defiling your temple. Hey. If you are sleeping around, sleeping with every woman you see, guess what? You are defiling your temple. Hey. Now, I gave an example with a mother and a child a few seconds ago, did I not? What do you think God will do when you go against his rules? I'm going to start with you, Lafayette. What you think going to happen? You go against God. Say what? Exactly. What's the punishment, though? Is it a slap on the wrist for going against God? What is it? I'll come back to you. John, what is it? You go against God, what will he do to you? Well, we just read the curses. Our people are being punished as a result of our disobedience. You understand what I'm saying to you? Read that. Verse 17. If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. Make sure you get a flyer, brother. Read that again. Him shall what? Him shall God destroy. So if you are doing drugs, if you are a brother that walks around, you say you chasing hoes, you defiling your temple, That's according right. to God. And God will do what? Him will God destroy. God will destroy you. When you defile that temple, God will destroy you. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, Nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana. Sierra Leone, 
144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth. <laughs>